everyone welcome back to another youtube video i am starting off this weekend vlog in the new <laughs> the new mirror spot if you watched last weekend's vlog i kind of rearranged my like office space room and so now the mirror is over here and i really like it <laughs> so right now it is friday i've just been doing work and I am about to head out the door because I'm going to an appointment at the Viverell place that I mentioned last the last vlog. So um, basically, if you didn't watch that one, I found this kind of site where you can rent designer handbags, kind of like rent the runway for clothes, but for designer handbags. Um, obviously I love designer handbags, so I'm really excited about this. The only thing that I kind of found about it was that all of the bags that I had favorited were not available. So <laughs> I'm hoping that by going into the like warehouse today that there might be more of a selection and um, that there might be someone who can kind of help me pick something out. So we'll see what there is. We'll see how it goes. Just trying something out. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. It is a really hot day in New York. So I'm just wearing my little white Zimmerman shorts here and this top that I got from Zara, I believe it was last summer. It's like a little crop top, which I really love. It's got this, as you can see this, in a broderie anglais kind of pattern on it with the ruffles. So it's super, super cute and girly. It's a really fun outfit today. But uh, yeah, oh, and my little, my new Majiri earrings that I got last weekend. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over there in a little bit. I'm gonna take the subway uptown and hopefully they'll let me film in there so I can kind of show you like what does this warehouse look like because I'm actually really curious. I've seen it a lot on social media and it looks really interesting so we shall see. We'll find this out together. bag and then I'll explain. <laughs> so I picked out a Chanel bag of course. First first shelf I went to was the Chanel shelf. They had it all organized by brand. So the one that I got is this. <laughs> so it's so cute and tiny. It's a little vanity case. It is very small like my phone cannot fit in this. <laughs> it's like for scale <laughs> it's very small <laughs> but it's cute nonetheless what I figured is that I could fit my other essentials in here it does have a strap um, so I could fit my little wallet thing so I have this little pink Dior card holder wallet so I can definitely fit that in there so that's my like money my ID my Metro card so that fits one of the things that I need generally are like a mask and my hand sanitizer, which is gonna oh, hand sanitizer, fist, mask, and then just my keys. And then at least now I have a handle on my phone. So, and I mean, pretty much like I use my phone so much, like whether it's for taking video or texting or doing something, but I, I don't really need it in my bag anyway. So I figure I could just have this for my essentials and then I pretty much just hold my phone anyways. So yeah, it's so cute. I really wanted a neutral bag and I felt like 
they didn't have as many neutral options they had a lot of pinks like in the pink and red family but it wasn't really my shade of pink it was more like this color pink like a just like a darker pink versus i like a lighter pink or like more like a muted sort of like in this family but yeah i really wanted a neutral bag so i am very very excited about this one so i feel like it can go with a lot of outfits i actually picture that it would look really nice with like a white dress just like a plain white dress and then this so yes oh my gosh i can't believe it um <laughs> has little spaces to put like cards and stuff inside so I guess even if I wanted to save more space I could just take like my credit card my ID and my metro card out of here and just put that in that is an option too so that's cool but yeah I'm glad that I found a bag that I liked it was it felt like it was kind of slim pickings and I, I can say this because like they're not paying me there is nothing like i just went in as a person just like anyone else that heard about this and was like i want to like test this out and so yeah i will say that i felt like the selection was limited i know that it is very popular obviously so you know but i think because it's becoming more popular that they need to maybe keep up with the inventory because there is just so much demand especially in the neutral bag category preferably chanel <laughs> and dior about this i don't know what else to say um the girls were so nice they were really nice um and the showroom was really cute so yeah um uh, okay well now i don't really know what i'm up to for the rest of the night I just posted a reel. I'm trying to keep up a little bit more with my Instagram these days on like, well, and TikTok, like my reels and TikToks and everything. So if you're not already following, um, last night I went to a movie in the park with Kendall. It was really cute. It was in like Harbor View Park in Brooklyn. So we took the ferry over to Dumbo and we watched a movie. It was Jurassic Park, the original one, not the new one, the one from the 90s. <laughs> and it actually did start lightning and thundering so we couldn't finish the movie. They like called it off <laughs> in the middle of the movie. So Kendall and I ended up going back to her apartment and just um, finishing the movie there. So we did that. So yeah, now it's Friday night. I'm going to be ending work pretty soon. And I don't really know what the plan is for tonight. I think we kind of just want to lay low and like chill and not really do much, which I'm really happy with because last weekend I was doing so much. And next weekend we're going to be out of town for a wedding. So yeah, kind of just looking forward to a chill night in tonight. <laughs>
everyone. <laughs> I'm back at my apartment now. And so I guess the update, last night, Lana and I just kind of made dinner, stayed here, watched movies. And then this morning I got up, I made crepes for breakfast and then just kind of cleaned the apartment. And then Lana and I just walked around Soho a little bit because I needed to get a gift from Monica. So, um, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm doing today is it's my friend Monica's uh, birthday. So yeah, I got her a book because she really likes books. This one was a bestseller and it sounded really interesting. I hope that she hasn't read it yet, but it's called The Paris Apartment by Lucy Folly. And it sounds very like, mis like kind of like a mystery, sort of exciting kind of book. So hopefully she likes it. So I'm going to give her that. And then also while I was there, I picked up a coffee table book. This is from Jeanine Demont, who is the founder of Rouge, which you guys know that I love. I love their lipsticks. I love their clothing. I just love everything that she does. She's like a Parisian girl. Um, her family owned a restaurant growing up, same as mine. Um, and she's just kind of like a regular sort of girl that has really good style. Um, you should follow her on Instagram for sure if you like that kind of thing. Yeah, these are, um, these are the lipstick palettes that she makes that I got one for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. Um, oh my gosh, this book is just gonna be like so much inspiration for me, I feel like. So yeah, you can tell it's like very French. <laughs> so this must have been a lot of the inspiration behind her clothing, like her whole brand. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on the new coffee table. And then I thought this was so cool. So I think I would have showed this in the clip, but we walked by and there was a street vendor selling these Barbie photographs. This is this photographer. He's been doing this for 13 years and I, there was a lot to choose from and there were about, I would say like three or four that I really liked that I was deciding between. But the one that I ended up getting was this one because I'm going to put it in the bathroom. So it's a Barbie in a tub and she's just kind of relaxing with a chandelier and it just looks so fabulous. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get this framed and put it in the bathroom. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to head uptown to go to Monica's birthday thing. She's doing like a Clinton Hall kind of like place. It seems like there's might be games there, like some food and drinks and whatever. Kendall's going to, and yeah, it'll be just really good. So I think I'm just gonna take the subway up there and go uh, celebrate Monica. <laughs> something in my outfit um I don't know sometimes I feel like when I get dressed up and like I do my hair and everything I want to actually like take a picture or something in it because I during the week never really get the chance to do this because I'm always just like hair a mess 
at my desk wearing comfy clothes. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna do that. And then I think I'm going to grab a smoothie for breakfast because I ate so bad yesterday <laughs> that I'm trying to be better today. Um, so I'm gonna get like a smoothie or something, a green smoothie. So yeah, that's the plan. Again, I brought it back here and wow and I just ate really quickly I've spent the last hour or two figuring out something exciting that is a like a pretty could be a big deal but it's in such baby stages and somebody told me once and it's not even that somebody told me this I kind of already knew this in my heart that like if, if your plans are in their infancy, <laughs> don't tell anybody about them yet because then they have such a greater chance of like tearing them down. So, and also I don't even know if it's going to happen, but if it does, I will share. Um, as you can see, the office room has been left this way. I think I, I, think I am going to keep it this way. Um, yeah, it just seems like the best scenario, but obviously like I need to, arrange it a little bit more like I have some boxes in that corner I have my tripods over here in this corner so it does need still a little bit of work but yeah I really like it um I'm about to film in a little bit hopefully the big video with Lyle oh my goodness <laughs> so yeah, as you guys know, I don't really have while on my videos, and um, but I do get a lot of like questions about him, obviously, because it's sort of like he's this mystery person that exists, but I don't show in my videos, but obviously he's a huge person in my life. So um, because of that, I figured that I would film a video. So that's going to be the Thursday video this week. So if anyone is not already following on Instagram, definitely do because It'll be too late at this point because I put up this, the Instagram story yesterday, but I put up the story with any Q&A questions that you want to know about Lyle, about me and Lyle, um, just anything that you're curious about. So yeah, I uh, I put that on my stories and it's the stories since the stories are only available for 24 hours. It'll be gone by the time that this video goes up live on Monday, but as I always say, I always put stuff like that on my stories, so anytime I do a future Q&A or anything else, definitely follow there. So yeah, I've got that going on, and he's napping right now, but while that happens, I was just going to show you, so next weekend, I think I mentioned I have a wedding that I'm going to in Newport, Rhode Island, and so I got this dress for it. This is from Reformation. I think that it's cute. I've been asking my friends, like everyone, like, do you think that this dress is okay to wear to a wedding? The attire is semi-formal and it says for girls to wear cocktail dresses. So that is what I have. I, like, I got this one from Reformation. It's cute. I'm just a little bit worried that like it's because it's printed that maybe it's too much and maybe for a wedding guest, maybe it shouldn't be printed. I'm not really sure. But I don't know the bride well enough to just like text her and ask because I'm sure she has a million other things going on. But nevertheless, 
I like this because I feel like it could be dressed up more formal for a wedding or I could also wear this just, you know, on like a, to like a nice dinner or something because it was, you know, it's Reformation. It is a little bit pricey, so it's nice to me that um, I can get more use out of it. So yeah, it has a slit. It's really pretty. It has ties on the shoulders and it's got that thing that a lot of Reformation dresses, dresses have where it's like stretchy in the back so it's you know comfortable you can breathe in it and i because i what i also got with it also from reformation that i plan to wear with it are these shoes so so i figured that these are like since they're gold it kind of dresses up the dress a little bit more but also since it's a chunkier heel that it's wearable for a long like a standing on heels in a long period of time which probably will be the case um, so yeah, and they're cute. They're like, they kind of bunch together in the front, which I think is nice and also potentially <laughs> wearable in real life as well. And, um, I figured maybe, you know, the dress styled with the gold shoes. And then I also have my, um, my YSL bag. that's like a neutral color in the gold hardware with the gold tassel that it'll all kind of come together. And I think it'll be really nice. I don't know how I'm going to do my hair yet, but I think this is going to be one of the first weddings that I go to where I haven't done my hair my by a professional because usually I'll book someone here in New York. But since we're going up to Newport, I don't know, you know, anything about anything up there. So I think maybe I'll just watch some video tutorials or something. Maybe I'll do like curly kind of half up sort of, you know, I'll try to make it nice. <laughs> but yeah. So that's the thing. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't really know what the plan is for the rest of the day. I'm not going to go grocery shopping because I found that the Sunday grocery shopping is not so good, but the Monday morning grocery shopping is really good because this past week I didn't have time to go on Sunday. And so I went like first thing, like early Monday morning, like when they first opened, like before work and everything was stocked like everything that i can never find at whole foods was there plus more and it was like pretty much empty so we could actually shop in peace without feeling like you know when you're at the grocery store especially in new york like we're just busy cities in general like you have your car and like you always feel like you're in the way and you're constantly moving and like maneuvering around and it's just not a pleasant shopping experience I find that Monday mornings it's so much better, so I'm going to do that instead. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan for right now. All right, guys, I feel like this is probably one of the shortest vlogs I've made in a long time, but I have to say I spent um, probably like an hour or so filming the Thursday video this week, and I just watched the footage back, and it's so good. So, um, yeah, it's the big boyfriend reveal video. So since that video is going to actually be pretty long, I'm just going to end this vlog here. But I promise you there is a good video coming Thursday. So, yeah, hopefully you'll have time to see that one. So, yeah, after I left you guys last, we just basically ate dinner and watched this, this an, like an episode of the show on Hulu and then that's pretty much it so yeah stay tuned for the Thursday video make sure you're, you're subscribed so you don't miss it of course and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay bye